Hello, I'm at GuffinHouse.com and this is a great board that I've spent tons of time on. This is the 2020 GNU Rider's Choice Snowboard, an all mountain freestyle deck for intermediate to advanced level riders. Uh, a couple seasons ago, I, this was one of my daily drivers. I really, really like the Rider's Choice. It's well-rounded for all mountain freestyle use, has a good amount of energy, and it's actually extremely lightweight, but features a pretty unique asymmetrical style construction. It's called the level two asym construction, which means that there's a tighter side cut radius on the heel, there's softer woods within the heel's core area, and there's also a smaller, uh, shorter running length of that heel side edge, making the rider's choice really easy to ride on your heel side edge. There's one heel side edge and one toe side edge. So regular footed riders ride it this way, goofy footed riders ride it this way. And with it being an asymmetrical twin style board, the nose and the tail are the exact same shapes, except for they're asymmetrical. And it still features a centered style stance and a centered side cut radius, even though the side cut radiuses are just a little bit different. Now, one thing you'll note right away about uh, the Rider's Choice is that it does have a bitter teeter-totter to it. Not as much as you find in the BTX profile shapes, but this is the XC2 profile, one of my favorite profiles from, uh, from Mervyn Manufacturing. There's a tighter um, kind of side cut, or a tighter in the center rocker positioning. As you see, it's still teeter-totters, but it has a longer style camber zone underneath each foot to the contact point. And I believe those contact points are actually angled to match up with that shorter side cut running length or a effective edge running length on that heel side edge. And I believe that's the same thing with that centered rocker section. It's actually angled just slightly. Uh, overall though, uh, the Rider's Choice has a feel and flex rating right in the middle, right up to five. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, even though it does have that hybrid uh, profile shape. But one thing that I've kind of found, uh, found about riding the Rider's Choice is that it's good to stay centered directly over the top of your stance. You know, sometimes if you lean a little bit too far back, you can kind of loop out even though it's kind of sturdy. Uh, but keep that in mind. Uh, the wood core is actually of the highest caliber from Mervin. It's called the G3 Asum Eco Core. Uh, there's three woods. Majority of the wood core is Aspen. There's two strips of Polonia on the toe side edge, three strips of Polonia on the heel side edge, which are softer and more lightweight, and then a very lightweight rip of balsa wood right down the center of that board. So it's easier to flex on the line that heel side and uh, it's actually really lightweight. And then of course, uh, GNU added on an additional lamina to the Rider's Choice this year. Uh, there's an eco-friendly kind of dampening layer that works along with the Tri-X fiberglass on top and the Bi-X fiberglass on bottom. So that Bi-X glass, you know, makes it more, you know, pliable. You can still twist it with your feet, but the camber zone or the Tri-X in combination with the camber zones gives the board a good amount of boost. But then that dampening layer helps this thing not to chatter a bunch when you get through some rough, hard terrain. Uh, another cool thing about uh, the deck is, of course, the graphic. Last year, I kind of think that they flopped with the Rider's Choice graphic. I believe it was like orange and red stripes with black. It's just like, I don't think very many people liked it, but I have a feeling uh, people are gonna really enjoy this one. Uh, the base is called Flip Flop 2, um, which means that sometimes the board will either have um, a black background with a white text, or it may have a white background with a black text. So, you know, that's, that's that. And that kind of varies uh, along sizes and of course, and just like individual boards. So sometimes you get a black, more predominantly black, sometimes you get more predominantly white style board. Um, but that doesn't matter because this thing has a centered base. It absorbs tons of wax, has a decent amount of structure to it, but definitely keep it waxed up throughout the season. That's one thing I noticed about my Rider's Choice. It kind of dried up kind of quick, but that's okay because I like my boards running fast. So I keep my eye on them and I wax them a lot. And then, you know, to run this thing out is men traction edges, seven serrated knife-like blade edges that you'll find on the edge that help you to grip on firm snow. You know, I really liked riding the Rider's Choice here in the Midwest because I rode the wide version, I believe I rode like the 59 wide. And uh, it was surprisingly snappy back and forth. You know, it seemed like it was, I was riding a smaller board because it's so easy to like do a quick rip on that heel side side cut, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is a dope board. You can take it anywhere from, from the deep snow to corduroy and of course into the park. This is the GNU Rider's Choice for 2020, an awesome deck that you can see at thehouse.com. I selected the link below in the description. Leave a comment or question. Let me know what you think of the board and hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.